Good morning, Antelope Valley. <laughs> Good morning, Antelope Valley. Here we are, Young Love After 50. And it's a, it's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Good uh, we're, morning, we're, Cindy. We're down here at the Whole Weedery, our pharmacy. Oh, and guess, okay, I'm going to claim it. We have a virgin on site. Moldy Marvin, he's never been into the whole weedery before. That's why he's moldy. Virgin for that reason. Where's oh, where's our eye in the sky? Right, right here. here. See, here's Howdy. what here's what it looks like here. Eventually, there you are. Nice there we go. color, a little, by little, the little way. A little bit of delay too. Huh? Yeah, well, you get that on the internet. Uh, yeah. But but in, it's it's fun in here when you when you hear it because uh, oh, test here, put these on for a second. You really get some uh, some '60s feedback. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's <laughs> hello, hello. Yeah. <laughs> I see. That's almost like you could talk and talk in Chinese. Yeah. There you go. Give them back. <laughs> and it's unnerving to me. So I, I'm just happy to look at the camera. So and, and so are we on? We're, we're on. We're, we're on. 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 Good Valley, uh, welcome to Young Love After Fifty. Um, healthy, wealthy, wise. We want to thank Local Living uh, for being our, our primary sponsor, and of course, uh, we get some other sponsors that we're real happy with. A uh, whole eatery. Um, uh, uh, AB's best florist uh, in, in Antelope Valley uh, florist uh, and uh, 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 Bob from Avon's and my hands are my face oh he covers his mouth when he talks and none of us can hear <laughs> so there you are sponsors <laughs> go back to our sponsors <laughs> well so sponsor me this <laughs> Rally, uh, Rally Automotive uh, we love you guys thank you a lot for everything um, uh, a lot going on uh, in the Antelope Valley and a lot going on with old Moldy Oh, we have a rat fink event happening, not this weekend, but next, and there's a lot of finkers out here. Some real finkers, <laughs> I, I think. And some of us even By fink. the way, by the way, real successful event you had over at Chris Calibas over yeah. at the uh, Graphic Experience. Yeah, that was, that was another finky event. Yes, cult custom culture. Custom culture, that's where... Rat you know. fink, cult custom culture. Yeah. So now, this is your first rodeo, right? My first rodeo. Yeah, in other words, no, I'm lying. You've done this how many years? 12 years. This is a 12th annual Rat Fink Party and Custom Culture Extravaganza. Mm -hmm. Down in Acton at the KOA. Down at Acton at the KOA on June 30th of 2012. That's that's next week. That's next week, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. And and, and are the sponsorships available still? And There's still a few. Yeah, there's, there's, they, folks can still help out, you know, and, and that's just it, too. I mean, uh, one of the, one of the points of the, this particular event is to raise funds for uh, our community organizations, and uh, one that I've been supporting the last few years is the Painted Turtle in Lake Hughes. The, oh, the you are here it's, for it's, it's a serious camp for, for kids. Oh, it well, is at the Turtle, the, yes, the Turtle you know, Camp up in yeah. Lake Hughes. Yeah. They have an event happening. It's, a, it's an island barbecue on July the 28th, which we'll certainly yeah. be involved yeah. with. And, yeah. and, and Kelly, who who's, does the PR for Painted Turtle, will be here on the 12th of July. I can't wait. To talk about all that. <laughs> A.B. Nice has been out and about. But let me tell you, Moldy, because Cheryl, who's the owner of the whole weedery, where we sit right now, and she's been growing her garden beautifully right here for 27 years. That is her love. Is the painted, painted turtle? turtle. It oh, sure wow. Is. Well, then she'll have no problem with hanging a, a poster in her window now, will she? Before right. handing out our flyers. Oh, not. well, no. She, right. You can put that up on AB Nice. She trusts us to only bring good to her, you know. That. Imagine yeah. that. Put up on Facebook. So, so, yeah, so one of the things that we do is, is we do a big charity art auction along with what we call a panel jam. And what a panel jam is, is that we have several artists that come in uh, to the event, and they will actually paint panels, they'll pinstripe. When we're talking about custom culture art, we're talking about hot rodding art, anything from, you know, flames to pinstriping to dice to, you know, rat fink, obviously. Uh, so anyway, in a panel jam, uh, each artist will bring a panel that maybe he started he's put a base coat on or something like that and then what they do is they share that panel and so artists will add their own lines or add their own little character to it or some lettering so on and so forth and by the time you're done with the panel you might might have you know anywhere from three to four all the way up to ten different artists that will work on that panel then what we do at the end of the day or when it's getting dry while it's still wet we auction it off for charity. We auction it off for the Painted Turtle. So, and it's really neat to watch because you, you watch these things sort of just sort of 
happen. They just sort emerge. Of, uh, they emerge out, and of, it's the out of this metal panel. Yeah. And, and, and it's, it's the freedom, the creativity. Is there a lot of acid at, at your events? No. <laughs> acid. <laughs> No, Sorry. and it's not a rave either. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And don't go hunting <laughs> mushrooms either, right? right. Just right. you won't find any at the no, KOA. Yeah, <laughs> and then and then we also have uh, artists that that can't attend the event that are from out of the state or whatnot. And what they do is they will send me art, and then we put that into the into the pile of artwork to be sold at auction. And we do, I'll do like three or four different auction blocks during the day, in between other things like. Our entertainment. We've got. Tell me about the entertainment. We've What's got going seven on different bands this year. Uh, we've got the Blue Collar Combo, which they're local, and they're a rockabilly band. They're local, uh, right out here from the Antelope Valley. Then we have Luck of the Draw. They've. They're sort of a psychobilly. Um, fast, fast psycho rockabilly. Billy. Yeah, original. Really neat stuff. Really neat stuff. And the Phantom Pumps. Now again, they're they're rockabilly. That's just a little trio. Uh, and then we have the Cash Profits, and the Cash Profits are a Johnny Cash cover band, and they're phenomenal. They sound just like them. I mean, it's a one day Bo Bobby event. Sounds, it's it's a all one day, day on one, Saturday. Yeah, yeah. So one day you pack all of this into one day. You haven't even. I haven't even packed it yet. I haven't finished. Well, I'm, I'm already <laughs> impressed. I haven't even packed it yet. Wait a second. Wait till. You, then we have Danny Dean. And he does everything from 50s swing to rockabilly to surf. And then we have the Pyronauts. They come down from all the way up uh, uh, near uh, uh, Sacramento. And they're a surf band. And they're really super well known. They do what I call speed surf. They play surf only like twice as fast. And it's That's neat. But, <laughs> but it's neat. It's neat stuff. And then the Resistors, who are, who's another local act. And they do everything from rockabilly to psychobilly to surf to sort of their own type of surf. But, wait, there's that's more. not all. There's more. That's not all. There's more. There's more. How could it possibly leave? <laughs> well, then we have all these family games that we do. We do potato sack race, three-legged race, an egg toss. <laughs> then for the ladies, we do, or, well, actually for the guys, I guess, we do a pinup contest. Oh. Yeah, now. vintage swimwear and pinup contest. Well, now is vintage styles now and on this, or do you have a whole? Vintage thing? styles now is coming out. Yes. Okay, because we're we're taking this. This is the vintage styles now right now that I'm wearing. Is it? Yes, that it is. Top that is, is right is. there. That, uh -huh. So I so From vintage Adam styles Shaw. now. Yes, we're we're taking pieces with us back to Gulf Shores, Alabama next week. One of those period pieces from my 76 year old mother. One of those pin-up bathing suits. She and my really? dad love to water exercise. Now, wait a second. You so, guys are going to oh, be out of town. It's too bad. You should have been see, here. I know. You've you got to coordinate you with us next year, Moldy. Coordinate with you. Know, everybody's known about this for, <laughs> uh, for a year. I mean, I put, chose the date three weeks after I You obviously didn't the last with my one. mom and dad because they <laughs> set this date. <laughs> And they're, they, they're the ones that, set, that paid for the ticket? Is that what No, it is? no, not at all. But it's their first time to meet Jim. So he's new to and the plan. And how many years? No, we've only been married since uh, New since Year's Since January. Eve. We've been together a year and a half. I oh, well, I'll be darned. <laughs> I thought you guys had been coupled up for yeah, a long time. Yeah, Sam and Kitty, you know. Oh, my goodness <laughs> gracious. You're going to go see the... You're going to go see the in-laws? <laughs> yes. Yeah. That could be scary. Well, it is. There's, there's, there's Southern Baptist. Oh, my goodness. And, and I... We have deacons in the family. I was raised, I was raised in Southern well, Baptist. Well, you know, I'm an ordained minister. Oh. Yeah, minister really? M. Yeah, anyway, go ahead. Minister M. Well, I'm, I'm, I was like growing up here in Palmdale at a, at a Southern Baptist church, but a little different than back east. Mm -hmm. But I ran, 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 went around the or world. Or the Bible Belt. Yeah. Yeah. With the oh, we have a Let me turn this off here because we don't need to hear any go. of that. So anyway, yes. Yeah, so the you're gonna have a pinup, 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 and vintage swimwear contest. But we are, and we have little miss pinups too. We let the we let the children, the little girls, <laughs> they get up there and do their thing. Also, it's a lot of fun. Chris, yeah, Chris, yeah. you can't go to that. And then and then we, and then we do a hula hoop contest. Oh yeah, that would I'd be all and about. And if hula people hooping. can hand jive, you know, we'll do something like that. And then our chicken dance. Yeah, pokey pokey. Yeah, turn yeah, yourself around. Absolutely. <laughs> and and then we also have a tattoo contest. 
So, I mean, we're busy. This is a busy this day. This is one day. And so at the same Saturday. time, we've got the swimming pool. The swimming pool's Aww. open with the paid admission. That, uh, basically, all the park amenities are there. Included. So, so, yeah, you get to go swimming. And the thing that's really cool is you can literally sit in the swimming pool and watch the stage. Wow. Yeah, you can see the stage. From you the sound like you've pool. done that before. Yeah. He's well, actually, this out. he's yeah. been perfecting yeah. this for twelve years. So now. That, that's that's a heck of a lot of fun too. And then obviously there's the cars. We'll end up with probably close to two hundred cars or so this year. And the thing that's neat is the cars that you see aren't normally the cars that you see up here because I have people that come in from all over that bring in custom cars, and so it's a super diversified. Um, uh, extravaganza of Ex vehicles. Extravaganza, I mean, yeah. extravaganza. Own it. <laughs> we have everything from customs, classics, hot rods, rat rods, muscle cars, low riders, vans. I I do I, I do open a class for VWs. It's probably one of the only hot rod shows that allows VWs, and that was because Ed Big Daddy Roth, and that's who we're celebrating, is that the life and inspiration of Ed Big Daddy Roth and Rat Fink, and Ed was was way into Volkswagens. He basically introduced the Volkswagen powered uh, uh, or VW powered trike and actually had a patent on the um, on one called the American Beetle. Wow. Yeah, it's very yeah, back back in the, the What a uh, hip small world we live in. Yes. It's, oh, well, these creative geniuses, which I think we all are, we just have to discover that and go in that direction no matter how it manifests itself these geniuses and to applaud and go back and build on what's already been presented to us. I mean, what an amazing what no. But there's something about a white peacock. Oh, you like my white peacock. Yeah, that's what? white. White man. Yeah. Okay. yeah, now we're talking about my home. Well, well I mean, you know Or the bird. Can we you don't have to my bird. you don't have to disclose everything. Actually I got two birds. <laughs> I got a female too. A female peacock? Yeah, except for now that I have that puppy, that stray puppy that that jumped my fence a couple weeks ago. I don't know if you guys have been following no. Keeper. Keeper on Facebook. Oh. And, and in fact, a lot of a lot of my friends have helped support that dog. She just, you know, I lost my dog last October, which I had for over 14 years, Tulsa. And this little puppy, she's only like five months old, just a few weeks ago, <coughs> literally jumped my fence in my yard. Just keep her. She adopted me. And yeah, I called her Keeper. That's fabulous. Yeah. And everybody's been helping Destiny. out with her shots and, <laughs> and stuff like that. And she's a pup, so she's she's training me as much as I'm tra trying to train her. Oh, they her. train us. Children yeah, do the same yeah, thing. They just yeah, get absolutely. us trained and they leave. But anyway, the peacock. So the thing is, is Whitey and Keeper are okay. Except for Keeper had one of Whitey's tail feathers yesterday, and I don't know how she got it. He probably just lost it. Yeah, they do but, just fall off. Yeah, but the, it was funny, though. Keeper decided to go sniff Mrs. Bird a few days ago while she was out in the outer field, and Mrs. Bird didn't dig it. It's like Keeper wasn't chasing her or anything, just sort of checking her out, you know? And Mrs. Bird jumped all over Keeper. But she hasn't I been back might, in the yard she may be since. The queen of everything. Yeah. So she's sort of staying away. She she's hanging out at the neighbor's house right now. But Whitey's still Whitey's huge. Oh, peacocks had huge, so much property. Huge. I had a peacock bless me with her presence for a full year. And it was a most amazing experience from discovering what was leaving these big piles of poo. I knew it wasn't a raven. And it happened to always be over my van, if you know what I mean. But this just this incredible annual, just this one year full season, four season experience with a peacock that I treasure. I still have some of her fallen quills, her yeah. fallen feathers, yeah. because it was such a rich experience. And then I went, and I don't know if you know this about peacocks, I happened to go to um, a temple there is the Pine Mountain Temple is a Buddhist temple uh, just outside of Fraser Park. And um, they had a statue of the Enlightened One on the back of a peacock. Really? So I asked Reverend Phoebe, who at that time was the lead um, monk at, at that temple, why the peacock? And she said that the Enlightened One is often seen in the company of a peacock. Is that right? That peacock symbolize unconditional love, purity. Not that that means you're enlightened. Well, you know, he has a chance, especially if it's a pure white one. <laughs> He's blushing. Well, you know, what's weird is when I it's first blushing. moved into my home 10 years ago there, it, it's got screen doors with peacocks on it. 
But oh. my neighbor, but my neighbor didn't have the peacocks yet, and I didn't have any peacocks on the yard until a cu- couple years later, and that's when my neighbor brought them up <clears throat> to mate because he had them down in Glendale at his place, and they mated, and we had five. In that amazing? I had five peacocks on my elm tree. So yes, so, every they love night, and you talk, you talk about big piles of yeah, yeah, all big birds have but, big poo. But they they they've thinned out since then. We we've, we've lost a couple to car accidents and. You know, or cars hitting them, and then I think a couple of them been stolen. So I well, have this one just kind of moved on. You know, I I don't know. They do. A they, mine, they she just kind of after okay. a full year. Okay, let's, we have to bring it back on. so we can go on. Yeah. You, you know, know, let's bring back up the spirit here. No, nothing's dying right now. Uh, um, a pure alone. white mm-hmm. peacock. Okay. Oh. So this white. is Saturday. It's Saturday, June thirtieth, um, at the KOA in Acton. 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 Yeah. And yeah. if, if if I want to play with you. Uh, I give you a call at uh, 944-661-944-2299 or 800-888-6567. Yeah, you can call Yeah, you can call the toll-free number. That's, you know, that's cool. Or you can go to ratfinkparty.com. Wow. They, yeah. What do you know? <laughs> In fact, ratfinkparty.com has got all the information on it. Once you enter the, the, the website, I mean, I've got the, the schedule, the actual schedule of when the contest will be, when the bands are playing. We've got information on the Painted Turtle and on our auction. We actually do have a preview of some of the items that, that we already have uh, ready to go for the event. Um, there's the entertainment lineup. There's, I mean, everything's there. Also, too, for any of the people that are staying, because there is overnight camping, uh, on Friday night, for the people that are overnight camping, we're doing, uh, we, we have an inflatable, and we're going to do some old nostalgia B hot rod movies. In fact, last year we had... People park Is there their a lot cars of acid up there? <laughs> no, you asked me that earlier. I'm sorry. <laughs> Battery acid. I'm sorry. Battery acid. It's nostalgia. This has a, does acid have something to do with being over 50? I think so. Thank you, young love after. Yeah, and going back, you know, drive-ins. That's kind of what you're offering you is know, a drive-in movie. You know, when, when the last oh, wait, wait, wait. The, the movie should be joysticks. Yes. The last movie I saw at the Palmdale Drive-In was a movie that I started in called Joysticks. We all went in cars, and we saw it right there at the Palmdale Driver. And it have to do with video games? Yeah. Oh, it's, oh you, know, you don't know about joysticks? <laughs> no. It's, it's, a, it's an 80s cult movie oh, now. Really? I yeah. usually go and once you, once it's your movie? Year. Oh, yeah, I starred it. Oh, you started it? No, I starred it. You starred it? With, with Joe Don Baker. And, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. No kidding. Yeah, it's a great movie. Wow. It encapsulates the whole era. Uh, wow. I, I used to go two times a year or so to a big, big convention where they, they, they honor <laughs> Dorfus. Is that who you played with? Jonathan Andy McDorfus. That when I wasn't tooling my joystick, <laughs> I was letting win. So I did Dorfus maneuver. But anyway, with that in mind, we're going to maneuver right now. Yeah, he still has a Dorfus maneuver. Yeah. Here's what we're going to do. I don't know. If he, have you seen yet uh, the AV Nice with Jim Ledford? Hey, that's longer than six minutes. Six minutes. Oh, oh wait, wait, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, look, it's multi, multi, that's just it. That's what I was saying. Hello? Is that oh, your mother? My phone. <laughs> Hello. Oh, another. I left my phone at. at Are you there? I left my phone today. Okay. At home. Oh, okay. Got it. Phone yeah. home. Okay. Phone is Here, let, let, let me go away. Okay, we're gonna be right back. Uh, we're gonna go see uh, the 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 AB uh, the AB nice piece um, in in salute to Jim Ledford, uh, where where his friends from the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, uh, uh, directed by by our friend Chris Spiker of AB Nice. Uh, sends a sends a video card uh, to to Jim Ledford, so we're excited about Get that. Well, yeah. Get well, yeah. Speedy. Chris Spiker, AV Nice. We're here at the Hispanic Chamber. It's it is We Love Jim Ledford Day, and so we got several people just want to say hello to Jim Ledford, Dr. Roger Galizzi. Hey, Jim. I want to be the first to quell the rumor that. The, the issue that was responsible for your your heart was uh, the Bill Warford Walk for Wellness. I want to believe that it absolutely had nothing to do with it. I know you did the walk fine. We're all rooting for you. Uh, get well soon. Hi, Jim. Hey, just want to let you know we're doing fine. We want you to get well. We want you to get strong. We need you back over at City Hall. Uh, but uh, I tell you what, buddy, you've been training us for 20 years. Uh, we got you. We're your wingman. We got you covered. Get well. Uh, be uh, be good to your wife and uh, and that grandbaby, okay? Bye. Hola, Jim. It's Rocio. We miss you. 
get better super super fast we love you and can't wait to see you back over here at the luncheons with us and at the Hispanic Chamber love you hey Jim I've never done this before on camera this is my first time but we really miss you see this microphone it's very lonely because you are one of the few people to know how to talk you can fill up time on the air that's very important because as news people we have lots of air time to fill somehow when you first got into this business you knew that Jim and you knew how to fill and we need you back because we need you to fill some time we have for you okay so please hurry back I know you've got to rest your heart and uh, we love you we love you and your family pray for you every day and please get back on your feet so we can fill time I'm sorry if it sounds selfish Jim but we need you man bye I can't go anywhere <laughs> I can't go to the market, I can't go to the post office, I can't go to the store with people stopping me every step of the way. How's Jim doing? They want, they want that connection with you and they want to see you back uh, in your leadership position because you have done such a great job for all of us all these years. So we love you, you take the time that you need and then you get back to work. Thank you, honey. Hope you're doing much better. All of us are holding a good thought for you and praying for you and wishing you a speedy recovery because Palmdale really needs you. As a matter of fact, the whole Antelope Valley really needs you. So let's get out of there. Uh, I had one of those things a couple of years ago, and if I can do it, you can certainly do it. Get well. Hi, Jim. How are you? This is Rod Venegas with AV Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Um, just want to wish you the best. I, I hope that you recuperate soon. And um, I'm, I'm sure that God uh, has in his plans for you to get well. We need you here in Palmdale and in, in the Antelope Valley as well. So please get well. My best wishes for you and your family. And please, please get well soon. And I'll be seeing you around soon. Hi, Jim. I just uh, want to wish you a real speedy recovery. I was real sorry to hear about your uh, your issues and uh, just just really praying for you and, and, and hoping the best for you and look forward to seeing you back in, in the swing very soon. Uh, I know these things sort of kind of set you back, but uh, I know that you'll uh, you'll come through just great. Just wishing you the very best and I hope all goes well. Chris Spiker, AV Nice, talking with Steve Hoffbauer here. We're at uh, the, the Hilton Gardens for the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. And we're, what are we talking about? Something you got going on? Well, you know, it's just things have been a little busy with uh, Jim being uh, taking his little uh, recuperation from right. his heart attack. Yeah. Uh, he's doing a lot better, and uh, I'm uh, learning. Um, I'm learning why that man is. Uh, He's all over the place. It's unbelievable. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got that calendar, and I've got the calendar stuff that I already had going on. And uh, you know, it's uh, you know the big joke around town is how how am I able to get to everything I've got to get to? And now <laughs> they're, they're just well, they I trick is, is I have a clone. So that's that's what it, oh, is but, that what it yeah, is? that's what it is. A so clone, huh? you know, I got to reel them in every night. So okay, but uh, no, it's. Uh, the uh, the staff and everybody's been great, Chris. Uh, uh, getting me uh, up to speed on a couple things that Jim was working on, and getting the uh, getting our schedules merged because you know I already had a crazy schedule, so we're getting. But you're retired. Yeah, you're retired. Yeah. How could you have a crazy no, no, no. schedule? All I did was I just wake up, I, Steve. I quit. Time for your nap. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and, right. Yeah, that's what the, that's what the old uh, that's what everybody thinks. It's not true. Everybody uh, said, oh, you know what. Yeah, you're not going down to LA anymore, so you can handle this, so you can handle that, you can handle the other. Kind of got so, heaped on you then. Yeah, yeah, and there's a, it, uh, it, it, uh, it all floats to its own level, you know. So. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, you're uh, you're trained in uh, crisis prevention. Yeah, I've been it, doing that for a few years. Yeah, and you, so. you roll up to activities where you have to kind of like take charge and organize and. And Crisis people, uh, management. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, uh, you know, I think you're the right person for the job. We're glad right. you're. We're glad you're here. I bet well, everybody's I'm, glad you're here. I'm. Uh, I'm happy to be doing it, and it's. Uh, it's uh, when I went and saw Jim the other day at the hospital. You know, he's house things. Everything okay? I said, Hey, you've been training us for 20 years. Yeah. Relax. We got it. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I'm. Uh, I'm happy to be doing it, and uh, I'm. Uh, I'm not happy that I have to be doing it under these circumstances. Yeah. Or rather, rather the guy just be on a vacation, but. Uh, Sometimes God forces a vacation on you. Positively. You know? so. Well, Mr. Ledford, enjoy your vacation and uh, take this time to, to build up and get strong and rest up. Right. 
Right. Yeah, we miss you. Well, thanks, uh, thanks for talking to me today, Chris. And, uh, and uh, just want everybody to know everything's going fine. Everything's going great over at City Hall, and uh, uh, we're uh, we're moving forward. Very good. Thank great. you. Thanks a lot. Yeah. A.B. Nice, A.B. Mice, Jim Lefford, we're back, shut up, okay. This, this is Mark. Oh, oh, oh boy, this that's was... a great way to treat a guest. Why don't you go Did out you and hear a... what he said to me? Why don't you go out and have a cigarette? It wasn't to me. <laughs> His first time. So, uh, how's it going? What are you... I can still see your signage. See but yeah, but the, the, glow, the glow from your head takes away from it. <laughs> he's hiding behind that sign. It's just a little natural light you got above you the You know, sun. what a cool guy, since he's still listening. What yeah. a cool guy Moldy is. He is. Yeah, and don't leave us without saying he's goodbye. Living, he's living the dream. You know, he's put this event on for 12 years, mm -hmm. and some of us that have lived here all our lives and, and uh, think that we're involved have never been to the event. And I'm just thinking the music. And then floating in the pool. <laughs> floating in the pool, if you want to camp out overnight. Psycho Billy. And it's just great people to be around. You like that. And Johnny Cash. Yeah, Johnny Cash. And, and another thing really And fast. a vintage style little beauty pageant, catwalk thing will be so much fun. Thank God we're not here, you'd be in it. And a summer day in the shade. I don't know, but I would fun. be in the pool, that's for certain. Is floating in the pool with some good too? company. Get the KOA main. No, we don't want to draw into this. <laughs> yeah, there might be. I know that we're, 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 we're be beer and wine. There's going to be beverage. Too, so you can bring in bring a picnic. Wine. You can bring your own stuff. Yeah, bring your own wow. stuff. There will okay. definitely. Uh, uh, I'd ask uh, Cheryl around. Okay. The or leave it with me. And if yeah. you have and an I'll, and I'll make it happen. Leave all this. Yes. And then you can. We will make it happen. I know Chris Caliba. Okay. I hope you've I'll already put this one on Avenue J, at AB Florist at Avenue J in Lowtree. Right. right. That flower shop. Would, do you want to? Do you? Uh, uh, do you I, would you like a potion? Yeah. Okay. Oh. How much are they? In fact, I have some. How much are they? Three hundred bucks. For the. For the be stuff at the yeah. farmers market, you mean? Oh, right. see, it's good timing. Is, is it funny? Is it funny? Moldy says that the farmers market's a cruise. It's a cruise. I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I guess it's just about a good demographic to the juice bar. All right, I want to put a shout out to Salon Mingle, who did a local living um, voucher deal. And I went over and received an hour massage. And it's a salon called Mingle? Salon Mingle wow. in Quartz Hill. But wow. check this out, check this out. Good. Yeah. But Karen Lean, who's the massage therapist over there, she has a whole menu here. And I want to share it with you because it's a rare offering that you'll find someone who will. Uh, provide the service of ear candling and you've heard me talk about ear candling for sinus health for ear health so she offers that as part of her menu wow. is ear candling <coughs> and not everybody everybody has their own image of what ear candles should look like but this is what they look like this is ear candles a four Camera's pack <laughs> candles are made of wax it's let me a help, new let me day help every day <laughs> it's a hollow uh, there you go look at it. i got it in my hand yes and the small end <laughs> <laughs> fits inside the ear and then the larger end is what you literally light on fire and then it creates this gentle soothing heat that helps to soften whatever debris may be plugged into your ear and then loosen it so that it will just draw out within this, the cone within the ear candle. And your husband can hear you better. What? <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. And you can, you know, in order to help uh, enhance the process, you can even uh, prepare by putting some oil in your <coughs> hair overnight. This is a garlic and golden silk oil, which is a natural antibiotic. So if there is some irritation or inflammation in your ear, then this type of a soothing oil would be very beneficial. And then you follow it up the next day with ear candles. So it's just a little self-care, um, courageous just oh. taking uh, self-responsibility for all parts of this real estate that each of us walk around in. I can't Contact tell my... information. Salon Mingle is on 50th Street West. Karen Lean is a therapist there. And the phone number is 83... Her direct phone number is 839-8383. Now, now, the deal, a Local Living, was an incredible deal, but you go there and use it. Then from that point on... Oh, she calls us her local living family, and then she continues a very generous discount. So, you know, which we, uh, those of us in body work understand it's the consistency, yep. and it needs to be part of your daily menu, your healthcare menu. And so, just to consistently go in and have someone help or write you in all kinds of ways, and that's what she provides there. The Reiki energy is wonderful, just being in her presence. Um, it's such a, a valuable 
service to our community, and I love being able to afford this lifestyle that we talk about. It's a healthy lifestyle. And of course, a whole eatery, being the pharmacy it is, is, is a place to come and, and do your shopping. Well, the healthy lifestyle. And don't we have a great time just sitting in Carol's store? What, what did we drink this morning? And this was cappuccino. At what time do they open? Nine o'clock is Nine when the whole eatery opens. The restaurant opens at 10.30. <clears throat> she serves lunch. You can have lunch in here. Right here in a restaurant. There's also, you know, a refrigerator case with prepared salads and sandwiches. Sandwiches, and, yeah. And uh, vegan, raw food, superfoods, juice bar. It's just amazing the um, completeness that she offers. Home furnishings, fashion, wear. It's an amazing <laughs> gift shop. It you is. know, if you need something for a birthday anniversary besides flowers, come over here and check out hundreds of gifts. Oh, she has such a beautiful eye and makes it um, an, a, an offering to our community for 27 years now. Yep. She has been growing the whole weedery well yep. with her own beautiful heart, Cheryl Hughes. So thank you. From this consumer, this is where I love to consume, and I think it shows in just in the way that we are able to stay in today and be healthy and work with what we're given. Great. <laughs> Outstanding. I know. Whatever. So, Chris, what are you up to? What's going well, on? Well, you know what's on my mind today is through the magic of social media, especially Facebook, I've reconnected with a couple of my high school buddies from a long time ago. And, uh, you know, one guy is really well adjusted and the other guy is still working on stuff from the past. And what it teaches me is, what it reminds me of is there are givers and takers. And I think I'm, I'm, the A.V. Nice thing was like, I need to be a giver. But I kind of come from a position, or at least I feel that way, I was a taker. Especially in the past. But, you know, every day we have to kind of like stop and smell the roses and, and, and bring it back <coughs> to the, the center point. The center point and that, that deep core belief of, of gratitude and abundance because we can afford to be givers when we, we have that security of, of abundance. My needs are met. I have enough. And in discovering that and trusting that, then I have more to give unconditionally as just being of service to my community. <clears throat> it's, a, it's the greatest security, you know, to know that I have enough to give. Fortunately, I'm, I'm in the sort of business that forces you serve. Yesterday we got a call. We need a tomato plant. So our, our standard answer is yes we can. Here's what it'll cost. So I run out and find a tomato plant, go over to Bayarda, get a couple. Of, I could have got organic tomatoes right here at Whole Weedery. Uh, I get a couple of tomatoes, tomato plant goes out, makes the person feel better. Tomato plant. Even tomato plant. Have yeah. it your way, yeah. whatever uh, that is. Yeah. So that's a very small, but that's kind of like, usually it would be like Oh, that's kind of inconvenient. We, we don't do that. Yeah. How we well, do that. Well, my, my, my son, Jimmy, um, on that day you were busy, he went and delivered flowers, and he came back just saying, oh, my goodness, do you know how happy everybody is to see you at their door with these flowers? It's right. amazing. With the reception and the joy, the delight. I know I get that experience when I'm Kitty Claus. I get yep. to see it from the from the eyes of Kitty Claus and how everyone in the room so appreciates remembering the goodness of life and the innocence of life, the beauty of life. Customer has a need, they call, they want a big bouquet, but then they keep going inexpensive. And then after he spends 30 bucks with me, which a sale's a sale, yeah, yeah. Uh, can you take a picture of that and email it to me? I'm going, wow. Yeah. Wouldn't that be great to do that with every order? You know, well, I'd it would say, just be like, well, you're well, doing it? Well, you have the ability to go live. And you stream and actually have that interaction yeah. live. So go to my website. Brian, I'll hold Brian, it up there for five Brian. seconds because of the camera that we put in there for right. Flower Shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, Liz, and, and I'm, I'm learning to say, how'd you hear about us? He said, I drive by your store every day. Mm -hmm. Or the lady from Virginia yesterday, she said, my family who's in Lancaster says you're the only florist they know of. You know, so we're, we're asking, asking. That's good. Yeah. And the willingness. You're willing. Not oh, yeah. only are you asking, but you're willing to follow through with a happy heart. No problem. Yeah. I love that as a consumer. Yeah. No matter who I'm in front of, to hear the words, no problem, no problem, no problem. is just like music. And then actually do it. 
It, you got to follow through. That's yeah. the integrity part. But when you go back to that giving and that taking, there was a very wonderful word called reciprocity. And in, in growing and understanding healthy relationship, because a lot of us are natural givers, especially in healthcare. We just give and give and give. And so the challenge becomes learning how to receive. And then in health, whether it's money or people or whatever it is, that reciprocity of I give and receive and I give and I receive, it's a full circle motion that helps to spin life better and better and better. What my wife reminds me is we only have to worry about the giving. The rest of it will happen. The getting, the receiving. It's, a, it's, it's the first action. The giving is just the statement that I have enough thank you. It's an action of yeah. gratitude. And then behind that, my needs are taken care of. So what we're doing next week, when are you leaving? We're leaving Tuesday. Okay. So when you get back, I, I want to uh, interview uh, Dave Childs, the new city manager over the city of Palmdale. Okay. And maybe bring John, the, uh, the uh, information officer over there. And the three of us had a little conversation about AV Knives. Sure. And, and maybe we'll give Dave a cactus for his desk. I think he wants a poppy instead, but I'm thinking a nice, pretty cactus because, you know, we like, I sell cactus. I don't make fences up. And so just a conversation about enjoying the Antelope Valley. AV Knives. Well, I heard in that piece uh, in regards and best wishes to Jim Ledford that I, th I know that the most common thought is it is the greater Antelope Valley. Yeah. It's this, this division is so yesterday, and we are part of this valley growing each other. Good. Well, we need to see. We, we need to see. We're really a, a little Bakersfield. Uh, Bakersfield was a bunch of communities that decided to come together and work together mm -hmm. as one. And in our times, that's what we have to do. And we need to get to that step. Yeah. And AV Nice is. A, by the way, I saw the picture of the um, of, of Minnesota AV. Uh, 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 nice Minnesota. That's Minnesota where we nice. got the nice idea. Minnesota from nice. Minnesota nice. Mm -hmm. Positively. Mm -hmm. But it's a great idea. And I, the amount of people that are coming on Facebook um, and getting involved is just amazing. It's just, uh, and, you know, in the world of promotion, separating, pointing out what's blatant promotion versus sharing a warmer. Well, what you're doing is, well, what you're what, what you kind of mastering with AV Nice is, is the conversation. Is is that is that um, we learned this in the beginning with with we took the we took the cell phone and, and, and the leaves and the, and the lake mm, yeah. you know that would be very interesting but people have talked about it. yeah so what you're doing is you're creating a conversation through AV nice you almost don't need uh, I see um, your your um, your vod pod your, your your render to, to be AV nice uh, because you know, you had enough selling going on but you know you get caught up in, in, in the niceness of it. And, and it's a real special thing, and the way you the way you go at it, and, and the way we're doing it, is, is real nice. I like it a lot. It's nice. It's all nice. It's, it's nice as nice. eyes. It's trice nice. Thanks for having Slice. me here today. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. This is great. So so okay, average day. So today is it's Thursday. Yes. How many different functions are you going to? Uh, just a couple today. Actually, I'm going to run down to uh, Silmar and get some plants, and I need to photo some plants for a new office that's opening in the Antelope Valley and they want to kind of see and approve of what's going in there so I'm going to go down and put the yardstick next to some plants and take pictures for them. It's a service we provide. Wow. They don't just say I want two plants. They want oh, we want to see the plants. We want to approve them. So I want to go back to this generosity AV nice thing because the sharing and the giving that seems to be the crux of it this either or in our economy. The, the greed of a few at the expense of the majority. And so Ellie Kay would say, who's America's family financial expert, she emphasizes the sharing and the, the sharing and the sharing. It's the, it's the spending and the sharing and the saving. The spending and the sharing and the saving. So as long as we're sharing, we are engaged in growing not only our own economy in the healthiest way possible, but the economy of our community, and then it spills out into our nation. When that gets plugged up and the sharing is not happening, that's when it becomes a very hostile environment because it's scarcity. Everybody starts to panic that there's not enough to go around. So the out, I think the by the imperative, the imperativeness of AV nice just to really promote that sense of sharing across the board. You know, beyond religion, beyond even professions, it's just human being with human being.
the cell. In the flower business, that that is like so many people ask. Sometimes I feel like there's more asking than selling going on. And so what I've been able to do where somebody asks is give them something. You're going to give us a minute? Okay, good. Hey, doll. Which sometimes means... I can't give you any money, but I, you know, I shoot a video every week with Jim Greenleaf. Why don't we come over and interview you and tell the story, put your, put your uh, charity and your story out on the internet, mm -hmm. and that's what is that worth? Mm -hmm. That's worth. By the way, I talked to talked to Ann Kelly. Uh, yeah. she's going to be here the twelfth of, of uh, July. She said she's got my response, uh, but just just was really happy with what happened there. She had no idea. Thanks, and, Marva. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, low, you guys go. were, I was at the beach. You guys were at Thunder on the Lot. And you, Somebody had to work. You know, I'm not the only one that can find the jewels in the desert we, and the bloomers. Yeah, yeah we have a way They're of every, just kind of gravitating everywhere. toward each other, don't we? Yes, we do. And those that are stepping up, here's uh, another thing that I've noticed being out in the world more is there's definite personalities that will shrink back which is a clear statement, I'm not ready, which is to be respected and honored. And then those that are just like Ann Kelly, I mean, she just stepped right up to it, and oh my gosh, we couldn't have picked a better person to explain the turtle camp to us, the, the, the event. Cheryl, the owner who's going to sit with us for a minute here in a, in a brief moment, yep. She's that's been her love, has been the painted turtle. So I'm just, just pleased to know everyone, and I'm just happy to be here on this amazing day. Say hi, to somebody. Say, hi, say hi to somebody in Florida. Say hi to her. Chill trees, honey. You know we're loving you. The smiles for you. <laughs> I want to hug you, though. It's been too long. It's, it's been at least happen. 30 years. It's going to happen. I'm going to be hugging me a tree. That's for certain. <laughs> Maybe a whole family of trees. You know, us green leaves, we tend to hang around our trees. And you're, it's just you're lucky a small guys. World. You're very, very fortunate. <laughs> it's a small world, that's for certain. So let me go and find Cheryl. You guys do what you're going to do. Just, just keep it clean, keep it decent as a family show. So, Always do. So, so Rita. I, yeah, I was like, I was hoping she'd be here this week. <laughs> <laughs> she had uh, she had Carly on her radio show. Wow. And yeah. Yeah. And she spent most of the show talking about this experience. So that was cool. That was nice. She put it on her website. Well, you know, I mean, it's only you and me, and it's only the the high desert. But the and she's a busy girl. You know, all the things she did just that week, the traveling and the visiting and the amazing, yeah, amazing. And we were uh, just, it was fantastic to be involved in that. Yeah. And that just happened. Yeah. That just happened. Well, that's the organicness of, of what we do here. Yeah. You know, um, we, we, we plan, we, we have a skeleton, we, we have a we have an outline, and, and then it evolves. You know, and I like that. We, we keep it real that way. So, like Seinfeld, a show about nothing? Yes. So... Life is kind of like a show about nothing. Well, Grass so you know, when, when, when you put up a video on YouTube, yeah. they throw out some suggestions you should use for, for tags. Oh, they do. They, they give you ideas. Um, you know, I don't necessarily take them all, but, but we did a video, and the tag came up, mindless self-indulgence. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We kind of stuck. Wait a minute. Sure, wait, I think they know us. I yeah. think they got it. Are they saying something to us? Yeah, yeah no kidding. Mindless self-indulgence. Yeah. But hey, life goes on. You, you, you know, you wake up breathing, you pretty much have to play for the day. Yeah. Yeah, these, uh, these classmates from 40 years ago, they got me going. And another buddy of mine, Steve, who uh, is living in uh, England right now, his son was at that restaurant in uh, Agua Dulce, where we ended up for lunch the other day. And he comes up and he goes, I don't know if you remember me. My name is Mike. Mike! You know, and then his dad starts talking to me on Facebook after moving away like four years ago. Yeah. You get a chance to go back and visit the good old days and maybe clean things up a little bit, and maybe say things that weren't said. Oh, boy. Well, time, is the, great, time is the greatest uh, greatest source of being able to, to, to revisit. You know? Yeah, yeah. Whew, thanks good. for the privilege. Oh, hey, it's great. It's just wonderful. And, and uh, I, I, I love the new signage. Thank you very much. <laughs> You know, that's wasted space. Not anymore. You put a Budweiser sign up there or something. But I think more important, just remind people who you are. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and as we build up uh, the, the, the world, Davey, and I said, you find her? Oh, no, then she'll wander by. Yeah, she had to get that phone call. Let's try online one. Play something else. 
Okay, let's, let's do. Let's go to a piece. Okay, we're going to go to um, uh, one of the sponsors, Avon's Furniture. Uh, Bob over there uh, has a, has a, a sale going on right now. Is he going to have motorized uh, lazy boys in the fair parade this year? I don't know. I heard something about that. That would be so cool. That would be so cool. Get the robotics team involved. <laughs> I, I I heard there's going to be a volleyball. I, I heard there's going to be a volleyball game going on. I can't wait. The fair parade this year is going to be over the top, baby. Okay, so we'll be right back uh, after we go to work from our sponsor, Avon's Furniture, and the big sale going on right now. During the hot summer clearance sale here at Avon's, you'll find everything you need to create the home of your dreams. We know you dream about furniture. Really nice furniture. Don't be self-conscious about it. It's what we want you to dream about. Well, that and Chris over at AV Florist. <laughs> We've added some really great brands. The home fashion world has changed and we've changed with it. We have the very best staff to help you put all the new good looks together. And when your new furniture arrives, we have the very best delivery staff in the business. We'll put the room together just the way you planned it. Just between you and me, go to avensfurniture.com and print out a coupon for free delivery. Go ahead and ask the competition for that. Right now, the incredibly comfortable Flex Steel Fleet Street sofa in power and leather is only $16.99. Lazy Boy recliner starting at just $3.99. And sofas from Lazy Boy for only $8.29. Casual dining room sets start at $5.49. And queen size storage beds with cedar lined drawers, $695. And remember, you can finance all the furniture you dream about for 12 months with no interest. Come to Avon's, downtown Lancaster, the corner of 10th Street West and Lancaster Boulevard. During the hot summer hey, clearance... We're back. We're back live. Hey, all right. Well, Chris, you're out of here, huh? We're going to hang around. Goodbye now. A.V. Florist is on with his day. Yes. He's a busy guy. <laughs> But he is, he's having so much fun with this, you know, creating a conversation. And not trying to, see, that's the great thing about it is, we found a way to be in conversation without having to promo the store or, or, or the flowers. You know, people just discover you and they trust you. It's all about trust. Well, and the discovery, you know, as we discover the internet, we get to discover what's right in front of us in our own neighborhoods, in our homes, on our streets, in our valley. That discovery. Spirit of adventure. Well, we're, we're, we're leaving. We, we'll, next week, we'll be broadcasting from where? We Gulf? hope so. We hope they have Wi-Fi at the <laughs> Gulf Shore State Park, Alabama. You know? I Thank think they buddy. have alligators with cell phones down there. Bye, Chris. He's so AV nice. <laughs> Do you see today's special? Sandwich of the day, roasted cauliflower sandwich. What roasted does that mean? Roasted cauliflower sandwich. It means Where's delicious. The meat? Where's the meat? <laughs> There's it. There's that too. It's not a bacon. There's a, there's a turkey. But you have it's the land of and where we have you know have meat if you want it. On local living, they have a voucher for the White House. I've been driving by the White House for 25 years now, at least. It's been around that long, and um, so they have a voucher on local living. And you know, if you're gonna have your burger, have your burger, your shake, whatever. It's the land of and. Just put some good, healthy items on your menu as well. And be aware of your daily habits. Oh, gosh, there's a chiropractor in Quartz Hill. Quartz Hill Chiropractic, Camley Chiropractic, is offering a package, unbelievable package, of exam and x-rays and an hour massage. So check out your local living. Jet Hawks for Family Farm. Get your carpets clean. We're going to be coming towards you. You come towards us in regards to local living, and we'll, under, we'll help you to understand how you get paid. <laughs> through local living. It's amazing how the merchant is the one who benefits and why these different ones are coming on board again and again and again. So we thank you for participating and growing our community so well. Jetthawks, <clears throat> we need to go back and do some more pieces over there. I loved Jetthawks. I love baseball on a summer night. Isn't that the best? Summer nights in the desert, no mosquitoes. It's very different in the south. Gulf Shores, Alabama. It'll be probably 85% humidity, <laughs> 90 degrees, and I lovingly, you know, acknowledge the ticks and the mosquitoes and the jellyfish and the alligators, but more importantly are the peeps, 
my peoples. Jim's going to get to be <laughs> immersed in about 80 of us. My parents, Wayne and Shirley Cox, are celebrating their 60th wedding anniversary, and we wouldn't miss it. So we're going to go and just bring the camera and a lot of life and hopefully have Wi-Fi to where we can share that area of the country with all of you while we're there. You think they're going to be? Excuse me? You think they're going to be? You think they'd have to be Wi-Fi? They have Wi-Fi at McDonald's here. Well, you know, you don't know. It's a state park. First of all, it's a state park. And um, so we'll just have to go and find out what's happening on the coast. Post-Katrina, we'll land in New Orleans and um, have a beignet. Rich family fun. That's what I know. My parents' motto for a lot of years has been rich in love. Their license plates say rich in love. I just can't wait to chant with uh, Chris. You know, my brother Chris is, will be there from Virginia, and we'll be chanting, and <laughs> just some great uh, hospitality. Well, That's you know, the best part of the South is the uh, Southern hospitality. Part part of getting married is I I, I want to have a child. Oh, the baby. The baby. I said child, didn't I? <laughs> Stop that. Okay, so um, uh, you you have uh, brought Adrian. Uh, in, in, into the family here with, with her puppies. And she has this incredible, what are they? Adrian and Robert Holmes. And they're oh, vital parts of our community right here. She's in education. And um, also heads a robotics team for middle, middle schoolers. Took her robotic team, the droids, to um, St. Louis, Missouri for the national competition and came home winners. It's amazing what she brings to our community. Well, she has a beloved baby named Brandy, who's six years old, just a red cocker spaniel, no, very well loved and taken care of. Brandy had a litter of puppies, seven, five girls and two boys. And Adrian put these, these ugh, puddles of joy out there on the internet. And so we're bringing home a four-legged baby named George. <laughs> George. So we want to take you on our little trip. Uh, to, to over to Adrian's to get to know George. Uh, we'll be right back with more of Young Lump After 50 uh, after this. Okay, April the 19th, I believe, is the birthday of this little litter of puppies, Cocker Bijons, and we're at the home of Adrian to go in and be amongst seven little puppies that are eight weeks old. And we're going to witness Jim discover George and fall in love. And then once we're back from Gulf Shores, Alabama, we're going to get to bring George home and our family grows once again. Come on, let's go find this. Come on. That's George. That one will look just like the mother. Except for the color, this one. Uh -huh. That's the other male. This is Georgie. So there's the two males. This one, and that's Georgie. Georgie. Okay, right over. Come here. Come here. Oh. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Jim, go okay. Yeah, he's all right. That's Georgie. Oh. That's the other boy. See the difference? One's hairy and one's like. This was hairy. <laughs> That's Georgie. Hi, buddy. Marva. Jim. Oh, you got Jim. George. Georgie. <laughs> I need to see his face. Oh. I mean. Cause he's already brought so much joy to you already. George, you're just full of joy. That's what you are all. Okay, well, 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 yeah. Can't wait for you to meet Freckles. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> if he can handle the beard, he can oh, handle that's anything. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, never mind. Always oh, licking you back. He is. have in the house. Jennifer, there's the camera. Hi, everyone. Haven't seen you for a while. What you been up to? Working. <laughs> um, growing the business. Uh, we, um, I don't know what Dexter spoke with you last time about, but uh, we have a few uh, trainers now on board with us and an admin assistant to help me out. So. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You yeah. got someone to help you out? I do. How does Dexter Thank take God. that? <laughs> Why would he let you do that? 
Oh. Ooh, it's called, it's, it's survival, isn't it? You yeah, got to delegate. Yeah. How you, much can you, you put? You got to grow. You got to grow. So, yeah, I have somebody. Uh, she's amazing. Her name's Danielle. Um, helping me out every day. So it's taking my stress away slowly. And <laughs> Well, it's not. I mean, just getting to where you are, which yes. is on the other side of this major growth yes. spurt. Because you guys just stepped it all the way out. What, well, and, you know, we've been something? working in the business so much it's time for us to work on the business as Dex always says so um, we're finally getting to do that yay just yeah. one fitness yes 10th yes. Street West and L6 right next door to Genesis Gymnastics mm -hmm. yeah. it's a training facility uh-huh our private training facility uh, we focus on fat loss um, toning firming we work on nutrition nutrition is about 80% of it so we do all of that we have chiropractic and massage therapy as well as I love that. That is a holistic approach to just plugging in and taking on the self-responsibility of your own well-being. Nobody else can do it for you, but we have a whole community of support that loves to do it with us. So everyone just take a little bit more, pay a little bit more attention to your choices throughout this day and get to know your neighbors. Just one fitness and doing it from the inside out. And we just love that part. I love that part. You got a wedding coming up. We do. Ten days Ten. and counting. I've been calling you Dexter's wife since I've met you. Oh, thank you. Yes, I have. It was easy to see. Well, um, his mother flew in on Sunday, so we've been hanging out all week, and it's been great. And we're excited, nervous, but... It's just confidence. Yeah. You know that this is Are a good Are you going to work for your honeymoon? <laughs> You're not having the wedding um, at the at the facility, are you? No, no. My my family, my parents um, got a new house, and they've completely torn it down, and there was just a shell left, and they've completely remodeled the entire place and uh, landscaped the entire backyard, and so we're having the wedding there. Oh, great. Yeah, and uh, we'll we'll wait a couple weeks until the honeymoon, and then we'll head out. And just do what you love to do, just, be together, yeah. and... What, what are some of the things that you did, guys? Do you like to travel? Are you out in nature? Uh, no, you it, like it, you like to camp, don't you? We do. We do. We love to camp. Um, I am come from a fishing family, so we do that every year. Um, the past couple of years, I've gotten Dex into it, so he's uh, turning into an avid fisherman. <laughs> oh, good. Lake fishing? But, uh, deep sea? Uh, no, we're, we usually do um, the lake and stream fishing. Yeah, we go up to the Sierras, so we love doing that kind of thing and just kind of hanging out. The air is so fresh up there, isn't it? It is. The sky it's is beautiful. so blue in the Sierra. And you can actually see the stars at night. <laughs> the stars are so bright. The, the night is so black. That's what mm -hmm. we get out at Death Valley. Mm -hmm. It's just that unplugging from so much distraction mm -hmm. and just really nourishing from the inside. Yep. And remembering the great company that we take with us. I that know. great Jennifer. <laughs> So what happen what what is happening? Is something going on there? Is there some special? Is there what what's Over going at on? Our can't, yeah, what's going on? Um, right now we are um, doing our sports performance and kids boot camp for the summertime. Um, so it's open enrollment. So anybody who's interested can definitely come check that out. Um, it's called Your Next Gear. So uh, it, we're helping out the kids, getting them healthy. Um, helping kids with sports. Um, we're also doing a 30-day fat loss challenge, and the enrollment for that is open as well. So uh, we actually started that um, last week, but people are still coming in. So they get you know 30 days of fitness boot camp and uh, nutritional planning with that. So trying to get people healthy. What's the phone number? Um, if you're interested in any of that, phone number is 661-942-5000. Um, Excuse me, or um, 888-618-1174. Outstanding. Yeah. It is outstanding. I love that, you know, because being right here in the whole weedery, you know, practicing what we preach is yep. a blessing, isn't it, Jennifer? Yep. I get to practice what I preach, and I That's just right. love that because it's my everyday habits that make the difference. And then right here in the whole weedery where we have such a bounty of beauty and yummy foods and information options all around us and then taking it to just one fitness which has a whole nother serious um leg of it because i know there's times that i get intimidated and overwhelmed in mm -hmm. my own process mm -hmm. that's why i need those around me that can encourage me to take the next step right and, and that's a huge part of what we do at our facility we're not a typical gym so uh, when you come in to see us you are your family 
You know, we take care of you. We help you with your nutrition. We help keep you motivated. You know, if you don't show up one day, we're going to call you and say, hey, where are you at? Yeah, <laughs> you know? we miss you. Um, it yeah. matters. We're continually evaluating everyone to make sure that they continue to see the results they're looking Brian, for. Brian, yeah. one, please. Well, and that it's like every 30 days. If you can do something for 30 days, then it, you create a whole other groove in your yeah. psyche. They say it takes about a month to create a habit. And, you know, this is, this is not just a habit. It's a lifestyle. You know, we're trying to teach people to have better lifestyles. Healthier lifestyles. Healthy, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Um, one who has really assisted me in my process is Kathy Bingham, a yoga instructor out of the college. And even though she now lives out of the area down in Mar Vista, which is like the mecca of everything yoga down there, she still has her heart firmly planted up here in our Antelope Valley. So she is offering oh uh, some broader uh, information. She's a she's a professor by uh, her occupation, so she has that oh, teaching skill, talent, amazing, how to spoon feed um, other habits to deal with our stresses and understanding the self-discovery. So I that's what invigorates me every day and why I just want to show up. I don't mind going to Gulf Shores, Alabama, but I need to come home. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and the good thing is, too, you know, um, we we're back out at the farmer's market. So because we now have the trainers and everything in place, um, we have the time. So we're going to be out there today. So if anybody's interested, they can come by our booth and just get some more information from us, talk to us, ask us questions. And, and the summer hours there now, which is two which to is seven? Two to eight, I think, two to eight. actually. Okay. Yeah. Farmer's yeah. Market on the Boulevard here in Lancaster. Just when fitness will be there, look for their banner. Look for Jennifer's smiley yes. happy face <laughs> and genuine heart. And pick up some great produce yes. right there. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for and, having me. And would me. you give us a nice out? Well, let's see. It's just another beautiful day in the Antelope Valley. Thank you for being a part of this show and, um, and just letting us speak our truth. Blessings all around. Have a great day, Antelope Valley.